In 2015, an FBI search warrant application was filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of New York, describing the investigation of security researcher and hacker Chris Roberts for possible computer crimes. In the FBI document, Roberts claimed that he used a modified Ethernet cable to connect his laptop to an electronic box underneath his seat that controls the entertainment system of the plane. From there, he managed to hack into the airplane's computer nerve center. Roberts claimed that he thereby managed to cause one of the Airbus aircraft's engines to climb, resulting in lateral or sideways movement of the plane during one of his flights. However, aviation authorities ended up disputing the claims and we never got an official resolution to the situation. The reason I just told you this little story is to show you how penetration testing can be essential in some industries to not only protect data and money but lives. So what is penetration testing? According to CompTIA, penetration testing or pen testing happens when a cybersecurity professional uses their knowledge and specialized tools to intentionally attack a network or an application to assess a client's existing safeguards. Let's say your organization is about to launch a client-facing portal for your clients to interact with, enter their data, and get the services that they need. Your organization will then hopefully hire some type of penetration testing team, or they might use a team in-house to play hacker on said portal. The pen testers will try to cause any kind of damage to the portal. Basically, they will look for ways to exploit any vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, or bugs in order to achieve some kind of benefit for them or harm for you. The example we mentioned in the beginning of the video shows how crucial pen testing can be in some industries. Because the same maneuver that was claimed to be used might have been used by a malicious actor to achieve something really terrible. Now that I've got your interest spiked all about penetration testing, I'm here to tell you how you can become the best penetration tester out there. So what makes a great pen tester? Pen testers tend to be the cream of the crop of cybersecurity professionals. That is simply because the amount of knowledge, skills, and practice that you need to become a good pen tester is actually immense. You will need a great collection of technical skills and soft skills in order to become a respected pen tester. Your technical skills should include your networking basics, that is your IP, DNS, firewalls, wireless cryptography, and network architecture. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but it gives you an idea of what you need to know in terms of your networks. Onto operating systems, you will be working across multiple devices all the time, depending on your current work environment and the organization that you're working for. So you need to be familiar with the main players out there. I'm here referring to Linux and Windows, of course. For Linux, you need a good grasp of the core commands, some bash scripting for automating the boring stuff, and you need to understand how the file system structure and permissions work. As for Windows, it's helpful to know your common Active Directory basics, some PowerShell scripting for the occasional exploit, and you need to understand how file sharing, group policies, and the registry work. It would also be helpful if you were familiar with some of the Apple operating systems. However, it is not crucial unless you work entirely on Apple products. Almost 63% of the world's servers run on Linux, and 73% of the world's personal computers run on Windows. My take here is that if you know Linux and Windows, you should be good. Now, when it comes to soft skills, you need to be a diligent problem solver. You are fueled by annoying problems and blockages coming your way. You also have to be kinda eagle-eyed when it comes to your attention. The smallest details could make all the difference. Not to forget being able to communicate well, because Ben tests rarely work alone, so you gotta learn how to play nice with other people while being able to whip up the occasional report here and there. So now you're asking me, what if I was not born with all the skills like other pen testers magically have? What do I do to learn them the right way? Now I'm going to assume that you have some basic knowledge of computers and networks. You do know how to turn a computer on, don't you? Start off with your network essentials. The best way to go about that is to take a good certification and get CompTIA Network Plus or Cisco CCNA. You will learn a ton of info and you get a nice little certification when you pass the exam that says, I know a thing or two about computers that are connected together. And if you think that fits you and you want to get the CompTIA Network Plus certification, you can head on to deontrading.com slash courses to get the course or deontrading.com slash vouchers to get 10% off your exam voucher and go pass the exam and get the certification. Assuming all people have a really good understanding of the Windows operating system, but not enough people do with Linux, I'd suggest learning your Linux essentials. You could load up a Linux distribution on your personal computer and you can start learning the hard way by figuring things out yourself, or you could check out deontrading.com slash courses and enroll in the Linux essentials or Linux plus course, and then we can help you become a 
Linux Jedi in no time. Now it's time for you to get down your cybersecurity basics. Master your concepts. Learn the CIA triad. That's your confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Understanding how encryption and decryption work, hashing algorithms, and wireless protection protocols. Understanding how a network is protected helps you when you try to unprotect it, if you know what I mean. The same way you would train to be a SOC analyst or a blue teamer works around here too. You can use Try Hack Me or Hack the Box or build your own home lab and start probing away. Also, bug bounties. Bug bounties are offers that companies put out there for independent penetration testers to try and hack their software. And if you could find any vulnerability, then you report it to them and they give you some kind of reward for it. These are extremely great for you to test your skills and you just might get a buck or two out of it. This will be the best judge of your current position. The number of tools that you could try to learn is endless, but there are some essentials out there. Some of the pretty famous ones include Nmap, Metasploit Framework, Shodan, John the Ripper, Burp Suite, and OWASP Zap. Again, not an exhaustive list, and you will probably never need to learn all of these tools at the same time. This is just to give you an idea of some of the tools that you could start exploring. The exact tools that you will be using will mainly depend on where you work, your certain work arrangement, and the tech stack of the team that you're working with. I would try to get an idea about the big name tools out there and leave the smaller niche tools when you actually need to use them. On to everyone's favorite question. How do you land your first job as a penetration tester? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not gonna be an easy task. However, if you honed your skills, got the right foundation set, earned your good certification, by going to deontrading.com slash vouchers and getting 10% off, of course, and gained your real-world experience through bug bounties, open source projects, and entry-level jobs, then it's game on. Build a strong portfolio, network with other cybersecurity professionals, and tailor your resume and apply for jobs. Use job boards like LinkedIn, Indeed, or Glassdoor and start looking for titles such as penetration tester, ethical hacker, red team specialist, or vulnerability analyst. You'll also find different names for penetration tester roles out there like this weird company looking for humble hackers. But you get the gist. Also, make sure that you're ready for the interview process. If your resume and application get past the holy application tracking systems of the time, get ready to be stretched thin by the interviewers, who will try to, funnily enough, test the pen tester in you. That will include technical questions, assessments, and or behavioral questions to understand and learn more about your personality and how you approach problem solving. Again, I'm being brutally honest here. This is not gonna be an easy journey. And you will most likely not going to be a pen tester for your first role in cybersecurity. Balance is the key here. Don't overfocus on one aspect of the job and leave out everything else. For example, some people tend to only focus on certifications without getting their hands dirty from time to time. I have made that mistake in the past. Don't be that bookworm nerd. Also, don't ignore your soft skills. As I said before, pen testers rarely work alone. Your soft skills will help you do your job better and advance your career faster. This is a marathon and a long one at that too. So don't think it's a short sprint. The learning curve is huge, but it's not impossible. You will get there. Just stay curious and keep on learning. Thanks everyone for watching the video and I hope I gave you a bit or two of helpful information. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and drop us a comment. Tell us if you liked the video and if you have any questions or topics that you want us to make a video about next week. Also check out deontrading.com if you want to learn more about cybersecurity and IT and get certified easily. See you in the next one.